All right, friends. So this is my drawing journal, which I hadn't been drawing in because I couldn't find it because I did not keep it organized like I've been asking you to keep things in your red bag. So please keep things in your red bag so you don't lose them like Miss Althea. Today, we are going to draw a mega garage. And one thing that I think is important for you to know is that when I'm drawing you a picture, when I'm drawing a picture like this, I don't always know how to draw it. And right now, I really don't know how to draw a mega garage. So I looked up a couple pictures and I'm gonna take those pictures and I'm going to use the elements of shape to try to draw that. And that's what we do over here, the elements of shape, okay? So we start with dots. Dots are kind of round and filled in, doing my best to stay inside the lines that I drew. Not scribbling. I know it looks like I'm moving my pen pretty quickly. I'm doing that because you're watching and I wanna make sure that I'm not taking up so much time that you get bored. But it's also okay if they're not perfectly filled in. Next, we're gonna do circles. Circles are kind of round and not filled in. And here I practice controlling my pen by making sure that my line closes. I'm starting here, I'm making a circle-ish thing, and then I'm closing it. That's important. And now remember, I'm making these into videos so that you can pause or fast forward whatever you want. So don't worry if I'm going too quickly, pause it, all right? Straight lines can go up and down or side to side. They can go diagonally. They can be long, they can be short, they can be thick, and they can be thin, but they don't bend or make an angle. And remember I used that long straight line there to separate my elements of shape, my practice, from the sketch that I'm going to do today. Curved lines bend in one direction, but they don't make an angle. Then we're going to do a spiral. We talked in the video with the cat on how to draw a cat about how a spiral has lines that are close but not touching. You got to go really slow so it doesn't end up like a scribble. Angle lines are lines that bend so much they make an angle. Like a straight line and a straight line. We're like, hey buddy, let's make an angle. There you go. So, I've done a lot of thinking about this mega garage, but I have never drawn a mega garage before. And I'm just going to use these elements of shape to create one here. First, I'm doing my horizon line, separating the ground from the sky in this case. This is gonna be like the road to the parking lot. Here's the sky, and the mega garage is gonna be here. What I learned about mega garages is that they're tall and skinny, and they have a slide. It's a toy for Hot Wheels. So I'm gonna do a tall straight line and right next door, tall straight line. It's a lot like when we started drawing a tree, but I'm gonna to top it off with a straight line across the top. Now, because the mega garage has a slide that comes down, I don't wanna finish this whole part here. I wanna make sure there's room for the slide. So I'm gonna go about just a little bit down. It should be towards the top because a big long slide is the best kind of slide and that is going to be the door for the cars to come out of. And then here is the roof of the garage. So the cars come out of here and they go down a slide. I'm going to do like this. Curved line. Curved line. And what I'm doing there is I've drawn a lot of playgrounds. Never drawn a mega garage, but I've drawn a lot of playgrounds. So I used what I knew from drawing slides for that. Now that my slide is drawn, I feel comfortable putting in that last wall of my mega garage. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and see, what I noticed is that this is a racing slide in most mega garages, which means that two cars could go down it, which means that I wanna make that middle line there pretty thick. I have two choices for how to do that. I could go back in with my skinny marker, but again, I like to be aware of the fact that you're watching and I don't want to take all your time, make you bored. So I'm going to use a thick marker 
to make that line in the middle. And then I've also just now decided that I'm going to make this line thick too. Like there's a railing to keep the car safe. And then I'm going to go back in with my skinny marker like that. Now I know that a garage has to have floors. There are going to be cars driving on this floor to go down the slide. And then making the rest of the floors on the parking garage. And then parking garages are usually have ramps. So I'm going in diagonal lines up the garage. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm thinking about how when I go to a parking garage, there's railings to keep the cars safe, to keep the people in the cars safe, because it's so tall. It's such a tall place. You gotta have those railings to keep everybody in. So I'm doing that all the way around my mega garage. And I think that sometimes, like we said in the frog video, it's the details in a picture that make it look more like what it is. So right now it's still kind of hard to tell that it's a mega garage, but I'm gonna do a car here. A weird looking car, I guess it kind of looks like it's backwards. Oops, doesn't bother me. Put some headlights on it, put some speed lines behind it. Now it makes sense. I'm gonna put a car here. Maybe this car is parked. There are its headlights, its windshield. And there's the back of the car, some tires. Tires should be dots, not circles. And there's my mega garage. I've never drawn one before, so I hope you like it. Bye friends.